West Coast weather wind. Yeah. I'm like, God, it's 51 degrees out, honey. We got the pantry. Like all the other folks. These days, Robert Downey Jr. is a household name that is worth a ton of money and a man that always seems to have something witty to say. But 40 plus years ago, he was just an adorable little boy appearing in his father's films. Since his film debuted in 1970, RDJ has gone on to have a very successful career, yet that success did not come without setbacks. He had a very public battle with addiction that led to many arrests, but ultimately he came out on top. See his career trajectory from start to now. Robert John Downey Jr. is an American actor. His career has been characterized by critical success in his youth, followed by a period of substance abuse and legal troubles, and a surge in popular and commercial success later in his career. In 2008, Downey was named by Time magazine among the 100 most influential people in the world, and from 2013 to 2015, he was listed by Forbes as Hollywood's highest paid actor. Robert Downey Jr. made his film debut in his father's film Pound when he was just five years old. He had a few minor roles in his father's films as he grew up, and after his parents split, he moved with his father across the country to pursue a career in acting full-time. On his own, he began building his resume with theater roles, including in the short-lived off-Broadway musical American Passion. In 1985, he was cast on Saturday Night Live as part of a younger crowd, but after a poorly reviewed season, he got the boot. Downey gained global recognition for starring as Tony Stark, Iron Man in 10 films within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, beginning with Iron Man and leading up to Avengers and Game. He has also played Sherlock Holmes in Guy Ritchie's Sherlock Holmes, which earned him his second Golden Globe and its sequel, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Downey has also taken on dramatic parts in The Judge and Oppenheimer. Despite all of the critical success Downey had experienced throughout his career, he had not appeared in a blockbuster film. That changed in 2008 when Downey starred in two critically and commercially successful films, Iron Man and Tropic Thunder. In the article Ben Stiller wrote for Downey's entry in the 2008 edition of the Time 100, he offered an observation on Downey's commercially successful summer at the box office. Yes, Downey is Iron Man, but he really is Actor Man. In the realm where box office is irrelevant and talent is king, the realm that actually means something, he has always ruled, and finally this summer he gets to have his cake and let us eat him up all the way to the multiplex where his mastery is in full effect, Ben Stiller. In 2007, Downey was cast as the title character in the film Iron Man, with director John Favreau explaining the choice by stating, Downey wasn't the most obvious choice, but he understood what makes the character tick. He found a lot of his own life experience in Tony Stark. Favreau insisted on having Downey as he repeatedly claimed that Downey would be to Iron Man what Johnny Depp is to the Pirates of the Caribbean series, a lead actor who could both elevate the quality of the film and increase the public's interest in it. For the role, Downey had to gain more than 20 pounds of muscle in five months to look like he had the power to forge iron. Downey's The Soloist which he completed in mid-2008, was released in late April 2009. The film was delayed from November 2008 due to Paramount Pictures' tight year-end release schedule. Critics who saw the film in 2008 cited it as a possible Oscar contender. Downey was nominated for an Academy Award in 2008 for his performance in Tropic Thunder. Downey's first post-Iron Man role was as Sherlock Holmes in Guy Ritchie's adaptation of Sherlock Holmes, published by Warner Bros. December 25, 2009. The film set several box office records for a Christmas release in the U.S., beating the previous record holder, Marley and Me, by nearly U.S. $10 million and placing in the middle of the record, Christmas Weekend, behind the Avatar office, Sherlock Holmes became the eighth highest grossing film of 2009, when Downey received the Hollywood Foreign Press Association Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy for his portrayal of Sherlock Holmes. He noted, 
in his acceptance speech that he had no prepared notes because Susan Downey told me that Matt Damon was going to win, so there was no need to prepare a speech. In 2012, Downey reprised his role as Tony Stark in The Avengers. The film received positive reviews and was a major success at the box office, becoming the third highest grossing film of all time in the US and worldwide. His film The Judge, a drama directed by David Dobkin, was co-produced by his production company Team Downey and was the opening film of the 2014 Toronto International Film Festival. Downey in Iron Man 3, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Captain America, Civil War, Spider-Man, Homecoming, reprising his role as Tony Stark in Avengers, Infinity War and Avengers, Endgame. Three of his scenes in The Avengers and Avengers. Endgame were used as stock footage in the first episode of the Disney Plus series, Loki. Downey directed the 2019 YouTube documentary series, The Age of Artificial Intelligence. In 2020, Downey starred in Dolittle, playing the titular character depicted in the film as a 19th century Welsh veterinarian who can communicate with animals. This was the second film from Team Downey. It was a box office disappointment and received negative reviews from critics who called it too long lifeless. In 2023, Downey portrayed Louis Strauss in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, with his performance receiving critical acclaim. On July 15, 2021, it was announced that Downey would co-star in the television adaptation of novelist Viet Than Nguyen novel The Sympathizer. It was also announced he would star in the film Play Dirty, reuniting with Shane Black, the director of Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang, and Iron Man 3. Downey will reprise his role as Holmes in a third film, initially scheduled for release on December 22, 2021, but later put on hold indefinitely, according to director Dexter Fletcher. In March 2023, Downey was announced to be in talks to star in a remake of Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo from a screenplay by Stephen Knight. Also in March 2023, it was announced that Downey would star in a political comedy starring Robert Pattinson, titled Average Height, Average Build from Adam McKay. Founded in 2010, Team Downey is Robert Downey Jr.'s production company, co-owned with his wife, Susan Downey. The company is responsible for producing a range of films and television series, including the Sherlock Holmes franchise and HBO, Perry Mason series. Team Downey has established itself as a prominent player in the entertainment industry, with a reputation for producing high-quality, commercially successful content. Downey has been involved in several environmentally focused projects and businesses. He has invested in companies that develop sustainable technologies and has shown a commitment to combating climate change. Through his investments and advocacy, Downey has played a role in promoting green technologies and raising awareness about environmental issues. Downey has shown a keen interest in technology and has invested in various tech startups. His investments have ranged from artificial intelligence to renewable energy ventures. Some of these startups have gone on to make significant advancements in their respective fields, showcasing Downey's knack for identifying promising innovations. As one of Hollywood's highest paid actors, Downey has been involved in lucrative brand endorsement deals. He has lent his image and persona to various products and campaigns. These endorsements have not only added to his personal wealth, but have also contributed to the success of the brands he's associated with. Downey's influence on popular culture is undeniable. His portrayal of Tony Stark, Iron Man, has not only been a cultural phenomenon, but has also contributed to the success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Downey's legacy extends to his impact on the entertainment industry and his role in shaping the Marvel Cinematic Universe into a global powerhouse. As we approach the conclusion of our video, we reflect on Downey's indelible mark on the worlds of entertainment, business, and philanthropy. We explore his ongoing projects, his mentorship of emerging talent, and his efforts to champion causes that resonate with him.
Robert Downey Jr.'s story serves as an enduring testament to the limitless possibilities that arise from combining passion, talent, and a strategic approach to business. Robert Downey Jr., from Iron Man to business titan, stands as a testament to the extraordinary career of a man who seamlessly navigated the worlds of entertainment and business. Robert Downey Jr.'s story serves as an inspiration for aspiring artists, entrepreneurs, and changemakers, illustrating that with dedication, innovation, and a keen business acumen, one can not only achieve remarkable success, but also leave an indelible mark on the world. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey.